Rachel here from Rachel's Lovely Stitches. If you've been here before, thank you for joining me for this week's tutorial. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and be sure to hit the bell notification to be notified of future tutorials. I upload a new tutorial every Friday. Today's tutorial is for the Alpine Ridge dishcloth. For this tutorial, you will need any number four worsted weight yarn, preferably a cotton blend. Today I will be using Peaches and Cream in the color Sea Breeze and Lily Sugar and Cream in the color Black. You will also need a pair of scissors and a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook and a yarn needle. Links to all supplies will be in the description box below. I also have a playlist with other crochet dishcloth tutorials. I will have it linked in the i card above and in the description box below. Now let's get on to this week's tutorial. We will start with the sea breeze. For round one, we will make a slip knot. We will then chain 31. We will then place one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. We will work one single crochet in each chain across. You will have a total of 30 single crochets at the end of round one. Pause the video here and meet me at the end. At the end of round one, we will turn our work. To begin round two, we'll chain two. That chain two will count as your first double crochet. You will place one double crochet in the second stitch, not that first one, but that second stitch. One double crochet. You will then work one double crochet in each stitch across until you reach the end of round two. You will have a total of 30 double crochets at the end of round two. You can pause the video here and meet me back when you get to the end of round two. When we reach the end of round two, we will turn our work. To begin round three, we will chain one. Your chain one does not count as your first stitch. We will then place one single crochet in the same stitch as your chain one. We will work one single crochet in each stitch across until we reach the end of round three. You will have a total of 30 single crochets at the end of round three. Pause the video here and meet me back at the end of round three. We are now at the end of round three. When you get to the end, do not forget to place a single crochet in that chain from the previous round. You will have 30 single crochets at the end of round 3. At the end of round 3, we will turn our work. To begin, to begin round 4, we will chain 2. The chain two will count as your first double crochet. We will then work a front post double crochet and the second double crochet from two rows below. So looking at round two, you will see the chain that counted as your first double crochet and then beside it is your second double crochet. You will work a front post double crochet in that stitch. To do this, we will yarn over, insert our hook behind the second double crochet, yarn over, pull through, pull it up to height, yarn over, pull it through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. That is your first front post double crochet. We will then skip 
the second stitch, which is a stitch behind the front post double crochet, and going to the third stitch, we will work a double crochet. So our double crochet that we just worked is above our next double crochet after where we put the first front post double crochet. I hope that's not too confusing. So what we will do next is work a front post double crochet in the next double crochet from two rows below. Yarn over, insert our hook behind the double crochet, yarn over, and pull through. Pull it up to height, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. And again, since we worked the front post double crochet, that stitch right there, we will be skipping. We will work in the next stitch. You will work a double crochet in that stitch. We will repeat the sequence of one front post double crochet in the next double crochet from two rows below, followed by a double crochet in the next stitch until we get to the end of round four. When we get to the end, you will have one stitch remaining. Meet me back when you reach that last stitch. We are now at the end of round four. We have one stitch remaining. We will work one double crochet in that last stitch. This is how your work will look at this point. At the end of round four, you will have 16 double crochets and 14 front post double crochets. You will then turn your work. To begin round five, we'll chain one. Your chain one, once again, will not count as a stitch. You will work one single crochet in the first stitch, followed by one single crochet in each stitch across. You will have a total of 30 single crochets at the end of round 5. You can pause the video here and meet me back when you reach the end of this round. When you get to the end of round 5, don't forget you want to put a single crochet in the top of that chain from the previous row. So you have 30 single crochets. You will turn your work. To begin round six, we will chain two. The chain two counts as your first double crochet. You will then work a double crochet in the second stitch. Now working in the double crochets from two rows below, which would now be, we would be working in round four, because this is round five, the single crochets we just worked. Round four is those double crochets from earlier. So this would be our first stitch right here, our second stitch, the double crochet that we just worked, and the front post from the previous row, two, two rows below. So working in this double crochet, not the front post, working in this double crochet, we will work a front post double crochet. We will yarn over, insert our hook behind the double crochet, Yarn over and pull through, pull it up to height, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. Since we worked that front post double crochet, we will not be working in this stitch. We will be working in the next stitch. So we will place a double crochet in the next stitch. 
we will then skipping this front post double crochet here we will work a front post double crochet and the next double crochet from two rows below you will insert your hook behind the double crochet yarn over pull through pull it up to height yarn over again pull through two loops pull through the remaining two loops and skipping that double crochet right there we will work a double crochet in the next stitch we will repeat the sequence of one front post double crochet and the next double crochet from two rows below followed by one double crochet in the next stitch until we get to the end of this round Pause the video here and made me back at the end of round six. When we get to the end of round six, we will have one stitch remaining. You will work a double crochet in that last stitch. You will have 16 double crochets and 14 front post double crochets at the end of round six. You will then turn your work. For round seven, we will chain one. We will work one single crochet in the first stitch. And that chain one does not count as a stitch. We will then work one single crochet in each stitch across until we get to the end of round seven. You will have 30 single crochets at the end of round seven. Pause the video here and meet me back at the end of the round. When we reach the end of round seven, we will turn our work. We will then repeat rounds four through seven until your work measures approximately seven inches. For me, I had to repeat the rounds four more times so that I had a total of 23 rounds. You will want to end your repeats on round seven, which is your single crochet round. So for the next round, we will chain two. Your chain two will count as your first double crochet. And then skipping that first chain from two rows below, you will work a front post double crochet in the next double crochet. You will yarn over insert your hook behind the double crochet yarn over and pull through pull up to size yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through the last two loops and skipping that stitch behind the front post double crochet we will work a double crochet in the next stitch we will then work a front post double crochet in the next stitch not the front post double crochet from the two rows below, but the double crochet from two rows below. We will yarn over, insert our hook behind the stitch, yarn over, pull through, bring it up to height, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two more loops. Skipping that stitch behind the front post double crochet, we will work a double crochet in the next stitch. We will repeat this sequence of one front post double crochet in the next stitch from two rows below, followed by one double crochet in the next stitch until we reach the end 
of this round. You will have a total of 16 double crochets and 14 front post double crochets at the end of this round. Pause the video here and meet me at the end. We will have one stitch remaining at the end of this round. We will work a double crochet in that last stitch. You will then turn your work. To begin the next round, we will chain one. Your chain one does not count as a stitch. You will work one single crochet in the first stitch, followed by one single crochet in each stitch across until we reach the end of this round. You will have 30 single crochets at the end of this round. Pause the video here and meet me at the end. Remember, when we get to the end of this round, place your last single crochet in that chain stitch from the previous round. We will then turn our work. For the next round, we will start with a chain two. Our chain two will count as our first double crochet. We will be working in the row two rows below. So skipping this first chain stitch here, we will work one double crochet in the next stitch. Now working in the row, two rows below, we will work a front post double crochet in the next double crochet. Not the front post double crochet, but the double crochet. And again to do this we will yarn over, insert our hook behind the double crochet, yarn over, pull through, pull it up to height, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through final two loops. And skipping that stitch right there because we worked the front post double crochet in front of it, we will work a double crochet in the next stitch. Now skipping the front post double crochet from the previous two rows below, we will work a front post double crochet in the next double crochet. We will yarn over Insert our hook behind the stitch, yarn over, pull through and pull it up to height, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Skipping that stitch behind the front post double crochet, we will work a double crochet in the next stitch. We will repeat this sequence of one front post double crochet in the next double crochet from two rows below, followed by one double crochet in the next stitch until we reach the end of this round. Meet me back here when we get to the end of this round. When we reach the end of this round, we will turn our work. To begin the next round, we will chain one. Your chain one does not count as a stitch. We will work one single crochet in the same stitch, followed by one single crochet in each stitch across until we get to the end of this round. You will have 30 single crochets at the end of this round. Pause the video here and meet me when you get to the end. When we reach the end of this round, we will turn your work. When you get to the end of your last round, you will change your collar to the black. Chain one and turn. You will work a single crochet increase in the first stitch, which is just two single crochets in the same stitch. You will then work one single crochet in each of the next 28 stitches.
pause the video here and meet me back when you get your 28 stitches worked. After you have worked your 28 stitches, you will work a single crochet increase in the next stitch. Now working along the first side, we will work one single crochet in each of the first three stitches. So it'll be a single crochet in the first single crochet round, a single crochet in the double crochet round, and a single crochet in the single crochet round. We'll then work a single crochet increase in the next stitch, which is a double crochet round. That will be followed by one single crochet in each of the next three rounds or stitches, one single crochet in the single crochet round, one single crochet in the double crochet round, and one single crochet in the single crochet round, followed by a single crochet increase in the next round which is a double crochet round. We will repeat the sequence of one single crochet in the next three stitches, or the next three rounds, followed by a single crochet increase until we reach the corner. When you get to the end, you will have two stitches remaining. Pause the video here and meet me back when you have two stitches remaining. When we have two stitches remaining, we will place one single crochet in the next stitch, which should be a single crochet round, and a single crochet in the next stitch, which should be a double crochet round. We will then work a single crochet increase in the corner stitch. We will then work one single crochet in each of the next 28 stitches. Pause the video here and meet me back when you've worked your 28 stitches. After you have made your 28 single crochets, you will work a single crochet increase in the corner stitch. Now turning, working along the last side, we will work one single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, and one single crochet in the next stitch. So we will have one single crochet in the single crochet round, one single crochet in the double crochet round, and one single crochet in the single crochet round. That will be followed by a single crochet increase in the next round which will be a double crochet round. We will repeat this sequence of one single crochet in each of the next three stitches, followed by a single crochet increase in the next stitch until we have two stitches remaining. Pause the video here and meet me back when you have two stitches remaining. When we have reached the end and we have two stitches remaining, we will place one single crochet in the next stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch. We will then join with a slip stitch to the first stitch of the round. You will now finish off your work and weave in your ends. Your dishcloth is now complete. If you like this tutorial, give it a like and subscribe below. Be sure to hit the bell notifications to be notified of future tutorials. I upload a new tutorial every Friday. Let me know in the comments below what you would like to see in an upcoming tutorial. 
Happy crocheting, and I hope to see you again next week.